Be Nice is the stop, drop, and roll of mental illness. We need a tool to train and educate our community at large to understand the warning signs of mental illness. Our family has experienced depression over many decades, including my mother and most recently my brother. That's why it's so important to understand the tool of Be Nice. Notice, invite, challenge, and empower so that others can help them. On September 9th of 2016, Andy Lovers ended his life at the age of 43 after a long struggle with mental illness. Andy's life was a normal, positive life. He did very well in school and he played sports. He was artistic and got very good grades. Um, so one would think it was kind of a perfect life of a child. Um, and we started changing, seeing changes in behavior in his senior year of high school. I had a feeling that something was going on, but I had no idea what it was. Andy's behavior was finally diagnosed as manic depressive, known as bipolar disease today. I think he, he wanted to make himself well and thought that he should be able to make himself well. That turned out to be unfortunate uh, because he couldn't. Mental illness and substance abuse um, affects the whole family because the behavior problems that it creates are very, very difficult to deal with. The Lubbers family tried everything from different medications to therapy treatments, but in the long run, nothing seemed to help. A lot of the time, he couldn't accept the fact that he had a mental illness. It was really difficult. If you are diagnosed with cancer, people say, oh my gosh, you've got cancer. But if you have a mental illness, people don't want to talk about it. In the last year of Andy's life, he began to accept his illness and could always embrace his family's love and support. So the relationship, uh, particularly toward the end of his life, was very good. So that is something that is comforting to us. We had a good personal relationship with him, but his anxieties just became too much for him, and life was hopeless for him. We were in complete agreement from the beginning that we wanted to be brutally honest. We didn't want to hide it. He had suffered from mental illness for 25 years. When he decided that he could no longer bear life the way it was, he chose to end it, and we felt that this illness needs to be brought out in the open. That's not one of the secrets that should be kept. Uh, it's an illness that brings about the decision to end your life, and that should be talked about. And uh, unless it's, you're open about it and talk about it, it's going to be harder to uh, prevent it. Don and Nancy Lubbers decided to get involved with the Be Nice campaign through the Mental Health Foundation of West Michigan and the efforts of Jeff Elhart, since his brother died by suicide, to recognize signs of possible mental illness and changes in someone's behavior and reach out before it's too late. We want to do everything we can to help early discovery of symptoms and the Be Nice program does that so that's why we want to have the remember our son uh, and, and an Andy Lovers Be Nice Mental Health Fund uh, so that these young people can be identified and can be helped at an earlier age. One spends a lot of energy on grief working through the process of grief when you lose a child uh, or anybody but especially by suicide and I want those energies now to go toward possibly helping other people it gives me hope that maybe his life even in death will be something that can um, potentially help others be nice is a tool that can be used in the classrooms, in the school, and in, in the community to address certain behaviors that, that end up uh, creating problems for, for, for the kids and, and the adults. The family here at St. Julian uh, was very, very close to Dave, and our involvement with Be Nice was a, a way for us to honor my brother and still be able to have an impact on the community in the hopes of preventing uh, someone else from taking their life. 
As a leading provider of mental health services here in West Michigan, Forest View Hospital recognized the importance of breaking down the stigma associated with mental health. We want to be a community partner, and the Be Nice program provides a communication tool for us to help people identify and discuss their mental health. The Be Nice program truly helps people. It's opened up a common language that allows employers, employees, students to be able to communicate relating to mental health and ultimately make a tremendous difference in people's lives, including in many cases saving lives. At West Michigan Community Bank, community means more than just being local. We are dedicated to the physical, mental, and financial health of our West Michigan market. That's why we are supporting the Be Nice campaign. People have been reluctant to talk about mental health. The Mental Health Foundation of West Michigan is doing everything they can to educate and improve the mental health of West Michigan. Our belief is that relationships matter. It's all about people. We believe that and we live it.